OK. Uh, now, with less than 24 <laughs> hours until our couple showcase their new dances, it's time for our Friday panel to assess their progress. Please welcome Strictly Superfan, your idiots, Tony Blackburn, and judges Alicia Dixon and Craig Revel Horwood. <laughs> this is a delight. First up, Craig and Alicia, I'll ask you, mm. how excited are you about tomorrow? Well, I'm really looking forward to it, mm. only because two new dancers that the audience and ourselves included have not seen. Does that make it quite difficult to judge? No, not for me. I love all that, darling. I love a bit of old Charleston and rock and roll. <laughs> I'm really jealous. <laughs> I know, because you yeah. didn't do them. I'd they should have got the to judges. Have done the Charleston. They should have got us up to demonstrate a bit of a Charleston. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm putting that to the public. You know, yes, I like, to have I like it. <laughs> get let's into go. the forums. Well, let's darling. open the phone lines. Um, <laughs> uh, Tony, who, who is your, if I can ask, your favourite? Or who are you really rooting for? Oh, well, I love Chris and Ola. Do you? Yeah, I just, there's something about, about him that I think is just tremendous. And it's such a surprise. I've done breakfast a few times, and I didn't realise he could dance, and I don't think he realised either. Yeah. And he's he tremendous. can't smile, that's his problem. No, he will smile, stop. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't mind that. He's a great little character. Yeah, he's brilliant, great, he's brilliant, and yeah. they've got a great chemistry. Anyway, let's yeah, have a look have. at all of them. We'll do music, we'll do dresses. You're going to be very pleased with me. First up, Ali and Brian. <laughs> This is a setback to have an injury like this at this stage of the competition and it's Charleston week and Brian's never done a Charleston before and neither have I. We've just got some time now to put in at the 11th hour and hopefully it will be all right on the night. So the good news is, is that Ali can dance tomorrow night. She's been training um, today. How does it look, Craig? Training in trainers. So bizarre. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it makes it look very flat-footed mm. and heavy. But, I mean, no, she's very loose, as we can see. But, um, for me, too heavy, needs a lot more bounce and a lot more swivel in the foot department. OK, but I have to tell you, I mean, at least you can tell me what you thought of it as well. Mm -hmm. They normally train up to 22 hours a week. That's yeah. what they're used to. And you all know, you and Matthew train really hard. We trained about a thousand A thousand. A They've yeah. only trained 13 this week just because of their really? injury. Really? That that's not going to help, is it, on the Saturday? It's not going to help because you want Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to get the choreography down and then you want to polish and refine it on Thursday and Friday. And obviously she looks there like she's still learning it. So it will be tricky, but I think they've got enough experience in the competition now that they'll be fine. Yeah, OK, good. Yeah. This is what they're dancing to. One, two, three, four. Paolo Nutini. I like it? this. Sorry, that's your bag. That's Sorry. <laughs> no, I like. <laughs> <laughs> I normally do fashion, darling. I'm oh, curious. I'm not. Let me sit over there. No, go on, Tony. How does this sound? Uh, I've got to be honest. Uh, I don't like it. No, I don't like the. I don't like the song. You don't like Paolo? No, I don't. I, I, I really don't. But okay. having said that, I think the the actual rhythm for this will be very good for them. I think it'll be yeah. nice. It's yeah. it's good to dance to. I think it's good to dance to, but for me, not to listen to. Okay. Oh, well, I disagree. Disagree. Yeah. It's oh, a fun yeah. song. No, I think I think it's a fun song, but one that I wouldn't particularly want to play on the radio, you know, that from that point of view, I'd but play. nevertheless, it's a good, quite a good choice. I don't have a row, it's suddenly Jeremy I don't, I, Kyle. I, I just, it's just not for, <laughs> it's just not for me, I'm afraid. Fair enough. No. It's a, it, it is but good. I think it's a good choice okay. for them. Cool. All right. You see what I mean? Yes, I... Ish. You do let's, see what I mean. Okay, no more words from you. <laughs> let's do... Uh, let's do the dress. OK, darling. Well, she's wearing red and this electric... This better be good, sweetie. She's wearing red and electric pink, darling. Mm. Divine. A cheeky dress inspired by Tallulah from Bugsy Malone, darling. And I can <laughs> see all those fat, strappy, beaded things holding the entire piece together. Exactly. So you wouldn't want one of those to fail, would you? No, darling. No, that was good teamwork. That'll be good, fun. because uh, with that lovely dress, it will take... You know, away from the musical. Okay. <laughs> and your <please. laughs> Stop. 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 We're doing rock and roll, and we're dancing to the king of rock and roll, Mr. Elvis Presley, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We've got to do him justice. We're going to be having fun, smiling, doing flips and lifts, and just just really having a good time, bouncing around. <laughs> Uh, he's had quite a 24 hours. We probably can, can't get into it. But how, how does it look, Craig? I think it's looking good, although he's a little bit, I've got to say, sort of too relaxed with it, you know. And also, his free arm drives me nuts. Okay. It doesn't do anything. It's just, like, hanging there all limp and purposeless. Okay. Uh, Alicia, how I, does it look to you? I'm not feeling this at the moment. Really? No, I think that he needs to let go a bit more. He needs to lose his inhibitions. It was very flat. Okay. You want rock and roll, come on. Energy. You want it. Energy. Energy. Precise I mean, energy. But probably, again, because I know the way it works, he's probably just walking it through, keeping it cool, and he'll turn it on. Saturday. So, yeah, also, it's a good song. I mean, I'm nervous mm. when I look at you, Black Man, because you're telling me to go, I'm not sure about it, but let's listen to it. You ain't nothing but a hand, dog. 
Dale, 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 well, that's, that song is fantastic. Yes. Yeah. I used to be a dance hall musician, funny enough, at the Bournemouth Pavilions, and we used to play the foxtrots and things like that. Not many people know that. But, um, but this song, whenever we played this, this is, a, this is the major rock mm. and roll number. Uh, it, was, it was done by a guy originally by, called Willie Thornton. Okay. Um, but I didn't know that. Somebody told me, and I thought I'd just say that because it makes it look so. <laughs> but I'm saying. But, um, but of course, the Elvis it. Presley. <laughs> you do the Elvis now. Exactly. You do now. It, this is joyful. Yeah, but it's this fabulous. Is, this uh, okay. this number is is this the one I can see. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, yeah this Let, is terrific. Let's yeah. look at the the people you love, Chris Nolan. Let's have a look. Yeah. We've had a few ups and downs with our Charleston. I've got to say, whether I get the steps right or not. I absolutely love this. I've loved this from the very first moment Ola put the CD in. It feels right, it feels like our dance, um, and I just hope I can pull it off. OK, is he pulling it off right now, Craig? Yes, I think it yes, looks great. Yes. No, I'm with you. I'm totally with you. I think this is going to be his piece to resist. Don't, darling. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to bring the house down. I mean, if he keeps his mouth gaping open like but he that, he might be able to get away with the mouth open in the Charleston. <laughs> yes, he, yes. You know, it's, it's like that it's all era. that. It's all ooh, absolutely. Ow, ooh, isn't it? No, yes. it'll be great. It'll be great. Such a good point. Wait, can we just have a close up of Alicia doing <laughs> that? The, the ooh, ow, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Well, this does look genius. I have to say. Yeah. Did you love I the look like of it? it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. I hope they're watching. They're probably rehearsing. But anyway, uh, this is what they're uh, dancing to. So is that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. It's from uh, the soundtrack from Bugsy Malone. Sure is. And I can just see him doing this now, you know. I mean, he, he looks as though he could actually be in Bugsy Malone, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah. No, stick a hat on him. He's small enough, yeah. Okay. Exactly, yeah. Well, very, very briefly, I just want to show them <laughs> Natalie and Vincent. The rock and roll could be a really good dance from myself and Vincent. It's energetic, it's fun. And because nobody's actually done it, there isn't really a standard, which I think is quite lucky. And I'd like to set that standard, and I'd like it to be a really great dance that everyone at home really enjoys. OK, you enjoying this? You don't have long, Craig, to say yes or no? There are standards, darling, that's all I can say. And she gets stuck, have a look. Whoa! <laughs> that needs to go a bit better. <laughs> OK, we're sad about... Very quickly, this is their music. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. All right, thank you yeah, very yeah, much, Craig, Alicia, Jay. and Tony. Thank you. <laughs> now, our final five couples eat, drink, and even dream strictly. And after ten weeks of dancing, it's no wonder they've had a few sleepless nights. She's off. <laughs> after this, James Jordan will be down in the BBC One studio. <laughs> There's one thing that keeps me up at night and that is forgetting my steps. I could be in the deepest sleep ever and I'm always woken up with five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. The things that have kept me up all night during my time on Strictly have been dreaming about James Jordan and forgetting my dance moves because if you make a mistake then it's curtains but what i fear the most is literally going blank stood there in the middle of the ballroom wondering where what direction what do i look where do i think what do i do oh no i got over my biggest fear and that was to not go week one but i suppose my next fear would be to go out on a whimper and that would really let Natalie down. Being in the bottom two has definitely given me sleepless nights and the thought of being back there again gives me even more sleepless nights. 